Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to deploy your website on Heroku. In case you don't already know, Heroku is a platform that lets you deploy apps written in many languages including Node.js, Ruby, Java, PHP, Python, and more. To get started you'll need to create an account. So I'll click sign up. When you finish creating an account, you'll look for the Getting Started project. So go to github.com slash Heroku and search for Getting Started. You'll see that they have a Getting Started project for Node.js, Python, Java, PHP, and much more. So I will click the PHP Getting Started because I'll be writing the code in PHP. Make sure to install the Heroku tool belt. So you go to download and install. Install it for your operating system. I'm using Windows, so I'll click the 64-bit installer. I'll download it and run it. If you don't have Git installed, you'll need to install that as well. So click this link for Git installation. Go to downloads and download it for your operating system. Now we can get started. Click on the clone or download button and copy the link. Open the folder where you want to clone the project. I'll clone it here so I can say CMD to open a command prompt and then say git clone and paste this URL. Now I'll create a new folder called PHP getting started which will have all of these files. When that's done, open the folder open it with Visual Studio Code or whatever text editor you decide to use. Now you can see here's the structure of the Heroku app. You have a web folder which contains the index.php which is running and you have images, style sheets, and views. The proc file is required. It tells it which folder will have the index file and the composer files will allow you to install dependencies with composer if you're not using Composer, you can remove all the dependencies, but you'll still need to keep the composer.json file. So let's test this out by creating a new terminal. We'll run Heroku login, since we have not logged into the Heroku command line yet. Press any key to continue, and it'll open up the browser to bring you to a login screen. Click login, and then go back to the terminal. We'll type here Heroku create create a Heroku app in this directory. And now we have a Heroku app at this URL. We can push this code onto this URL by saying git push Heroku main. Main is the main branch of this git repository which we created. Run this command and wait for it to deploy the app. Now you can run Heroku open to open the app. So you'll see this is the website that's running at our URL. If you want to rename this, we can run Heroku apps colon rename and the new name of this project. Let's say I want to call it my view counter because that is what I'll be deploying. Now if I run Heroku open again, it'll open the new URL, which is myviewcounter.herokuapp.com. Now I can change this code to run the code that I want. The composer.json file has these dependencies, which I don't need for my app, so I can remove these. If you are using dependencies from Composer, You'll need to run Composer install to install the dependencies locally. If you're not using Composer, you'll still need to keep this file, but you can just leave the require field blank. The composer.lock file is not required. You can delete this. You can also delete the images and style sheets and views. These are all used for the app, and if you're not using them, you can delete them.
Now in app.json, you'll see some information about the app. So I'll name the app by putting the name in over here. I'll say simple view counter. Here's the description. I'll say view counter for GitHub repos and the repository. I'll leave this blank for now. Now in index.php, I can test out that I can run my own code by changing this to echo hello world. And now to deploy this, I'll need to run git add dot to add any new files and then git commit dash am initial commit and then run git push heroku main. When this is finished, you can run Heroku open, and we'll see in the browser our Hello World. Now I'm going to open my code for my view counter. It's in this index.php file. So I'll copy this into this index.php file. I can copy any code, a full folder of code into this web folder, and then I will run git add dot, git commit, give it a message, I'll write added view counter code, and then git push Heroku main. When this is finished, I can check out the app by refreshing the page, you should see views one. If I refresh it, I'll get views two. So this is a working app. Now this URL is deployed online so I can give out this URL and people will be able to see this view counter. I can put my entire website on this URL, just keep all the files in this web folder. If you are keeping your repository on GitHub, it's even easier to deploy your changes. You don't even need to use the Heroku CLI. I will copy the Heroku files into my folder, which is linked to a GitHub repository. This index file will go in the web folder. And then I'll open this in Visual Studio Code. You can create a repository on github.com and clone it to your computer, and then you'll just need to make this file structure in order to deploy it to Heroku. If I want to put this existing GitHub repository on Heroku, I'll need to go to my Heroku dashboard and click Create a New App. I'll give the app a name. I'll say GitHub View Counter. Click Create App. Now. To deploy it, I can choose the connect to GitHub method. And then connect to GitHub. And then type in the repository name. You'll see that I have it here and I can connect to it. Now I'll enable automatic deploys. So every time I push to this app, it will deploy to Heroku. So now I can go back to this app. And I'll use GitHub Desktop. I'm going to say prepare for Heroku, commit to main, and push origin. And now if I go back to my app, make sure to deploy this branch. Now if I refresh this page, I'll see my view counter. Now this is running entirely from GitHub. So if I open up this repository on GitHub now, you'll see that on the side I have environments GitHub view counter. So every time I make a change to this repository, it'll be deployed on Heroku, and I don't need the Heroku command line interface. I can just continue committing and pushing to this project using GitHub like normal. I hope this video is useful. 
If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for content just like this. Bye!